I, I mean, I don't know if you have anything, um, any thoughts to say on this whole idea of cancel culture, where people, um, I mean, a lot of people use it as become political, so staying maybe outside of the world of politics. Is, is this, uh, 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 do, you have, do you have thoughts about it? Does it bother you that people are sort of put in this bin and uh, labeled as something and then thereby you can ignore everything they say? I mean, Steven Pinker, there's a lot of Harvard folks that are fighting against against these set of ideas, but do, do, you have, do you have thoughts? I think that we as a culture are way, way, way too quick to cancel uh, people. And it, it it's become almost reflexive now. Uh, you know, someone uh, says something or makes an, an, an offhand comment, uh, even a mistake, uh, yeah, there's there's a move to simply uh, uh, cancel uh, folks. So I, I think that this uh, quote unquote cancel culture um, has really gotten out of control at at at, at this point. It, it's forcing people to be robotic uh, in many ways. Uh, no not, offense, yeah, the robots. <laughs> I was gonna say now. Now I know I'm venturing into your uh, intellectual <laughs> domain. For future robots watching this, no offense. <laughs> and there are many, and it's discouraging a lot of good people from um, getting into public life in any sort of way because you know who needs the who needs the stress uh, of it. Well, that, in some sense, you're an inspiration that you're able to withstand the the pressure, the pressure of the masses. But it is is it's a sad. It's a sad aspect of human nature that we kind of get into these crowds and we get we start chanting. And it's fun for some reason, and then you forget yourself, and then you sort of wake up the next day not not having uh, anticipated the consequences of all the chanting. Yeah, and yeah. We, we get ourselves in trouble in that. I mean, there's some responsibility on the uh, on social networks and the mechanisms by which they make it more frictionless to do the chanting, to do the canceling, to do the outrage, and all that kind of stuff. So, I actually on the technology side have a hope that that's fixable, but. Yeah, it, it does seem to be, uh, you know, it, it almost like the internet showed to us that we have a lot of broken ways about which we communicate with each other and we're trying to figure that out. Same with the university. the This mistake by Harvard showed that we need to reinvent what the university is. And I mean, all of this is, it's almost like we're finding our baby deer legs and mm -hmm. trying to uh, strengthen the institutions that have been very successful for, for, for a long time.